Hey guys, I'm back. This is Henry from Obedient PC Audio Labs. And today we're going to be learning uh, the last type of automation um, included in Pro Tools, which is the automation that you apply to the parameters of your inserts. So on, on the previous tutorials, we learned how to um, automate your volume, your volume trim, your mute, and your pan plots. Okay. Now, those are, I guess you could say, automation types, okay, or, or automation options from the track itself, okay? Like every track will have some kind of volume automation, mute, or pan pot automation. Now, you can also automate the behavior of your inserts. Like, for example, here on this track, track uh, guitar three, I have this EQ um, plugin or insert. Uh, that has seven bands. Like, for example, here's this mid-frequency band. Like, you know, you can turn it on and then boost. And, you know, you could turn that on and off, right? So let's say that you want to automate this. Let's say that you have this track here, this Guitar 3 track, and it plays, you know, throughout this... I'm just going to close this for a second. Um, this Guitar 3 tracks, track, as you can see, plays from bar 19 until bar 35. Let's say that you want to automate it so that this band here, this mid-frequency band that is actually set to 698 hertz at 12 dBs, which is pretty steep, um, you want to automate so that, so that this band turns on and off. Okay, uh, so you basically want to automate this in button. Okay, uh, let's say that you wanted to start uh, flat on bar 19, and then you wanted to turn on in bar 23. So it'll be something like kind of like this, and then here's 23. Pretty obvious, right? So how do you do that? Because you don't want to be, obviously you don't want to be turning this on and off every time you print the mix. So you, you might want to automate that to happen. So how do you do it? Well, very easy. So you go to your plugin. In this case, as I said, it's my EQ3 plugin. Um, it's one of the Avid plugins. Uh, it's, 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 it's a stock plugin. Uh, this doesn't mean that you can't do it on other plugins. You can, okay? It doesn't matter if it's a third party or a stock plugin, you can automate them. So, you open the plugin and then here's, here's this area that says auto and then there's this icon underneath. You can click there and that'll open the plugin automation window. So here you have a list of every single para parameter included in that plugin. And you need to select the parameter and then click add so that, so that the parameter is now automatable, okay? So in our case, we're looking for the mid frequency in. So if we go here, mid frequency, gain frequency, enable, this is the one. So if we click there and then we click add, now we, we can see it's here on the right, we press okay. Can close this now, by the way. And now you if you go back to your track in your views, now, below those last mute and pan options, you have this FXE um, option, FXE, because it's on the E slot of your uh, inserts. And then you can see it says EQ3, and then it, there it is, mid-band enable. So if you click there, you're going to see this automation line that basically turns on or off that mid-band. So as we said, you know, we wanted it to go back we want it to be off, okay? We wanted the that mid band to be off, so the EQ is going to be flat. And then four bars in, we want it to turn on. So 19, 20, 21, 22, now 23, we want this to go on. So we basically select all of the area, and then if we click and drag up, it goes to the in position. So now what happens is... And I'm going to demonstrate it by having the plugin open here. I'm going to press play. And we're going to listen to this being flat. And then on 23, it's going to jump right on. And we're going to see that. We're going to have that 12 dB boost 
and 698 and you know the sound difference is going to be pretty obvious so here we go by the way you want to make sure that before you do this you are in read mode so you read this automation that you've written here you read it so it'll play back here we go so there it is flat completely flat and now 23 change so you get the idea, it's really obvious. Once you pass bar 23, you know, it turns on and it just stays like that because that's how we automated it. We can turn it back off, like here, for example, we could select the area and then click and drag down. So it goes back to off right on bar 29. Off. So that same uh, procedure, as I said, you can apply to any parameter of pretty much any plugin that you have in Pro Tools. That's how you automate your insert parameters in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we will be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.